Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope all of you great ya. Yeah? Today, we will learn the new topic is about plant life cycle in unit 6.2. In this unit, I want you to learn this. Describe the life cycle of flowering plants. Now, parts of plants atau parts of a flowers. Nah, this diagram shows the main parts of a flower. In this flower, have the stamen. The stamen is the male part of a flower. It produces a powder called pollen. Pollen spreads to the carpel of another flower. Next, the carpel. The carpel is the female part of the flower. The carpel receives the pollen from the stamen of another flower. Next, the petals. The petals of some flowers are large and brightly colored. Petals may have a poison scent. And then the sepals. The sepals are on the outside of the flower. In a young flower, the sepals cover and protect the other plants. Next. Look at the life cycle of a dandelion below. The first one about flowering and then have the pollination from pollinator. The pollinator is B. And then go to the fertilization and then seed dispersal helped by the wind. And then go to the germination and then the plant grow and then the plants have the flower. So the step of the name flowering next how new flowering plants grow and develop the first one pollen pollen is the fine yellow powder from flowers flowers have a sweet liquid nectar inside the flower this attract insects like bees and butterflies as well as some birds as an insect Sips nectar from a flower, pollen stick to its body. The insect then carries the pollen to another flower of the same type. Next, in the other flower, the pollen joins with the stigma, the thick part inside the flower. This develops into a fruit, seed from inside the fruits. Next, later, the fruit burst open. The wind, water, and animals spread the seeds. Seeds fall on the ground. If they get enough water and heat, they may germinate. And then, new plants start growing. The new plants develop flowers. So, remember that life cycle is a series of stages in the growth of living things. Okay, next to the next unit. In unit 6.3, about, about preserving animals and plants in the environment. Now, today, I want you to learn this. Discuss the importance of preserving animals and plants in the environment. The first one, I want you to learn about this, endangered and extinct animal and plants. When animals cannot find food, water, and shelter, they may not survive. There are many animals that are no longer living and we will never see them again. This is because they have become extinct. Difference between endangered animals and extinct animals Over time, there will be beaver and beaver of them. They are then endangered animals, when all of them have died out, they are extinct. Okay, the first animals that they are extinct or endangered animals, the first one is about Malayan tapirs or endangered animals. Their habitats are being destroyed. People also catch and sell them as pets. They could become extinct. 
And then the second one, Pelinus tigers are extinct animal. They are known of them left. People kill them all. And then the third one, dodos. Dodos are extinct, flightless birds. They used to be found on the island of Mauritius. They were killed by hunter and animals broke in on ships until they all die out. Next, about endangered animals. Endangered animals. There are some other example of endangered animals. They are Macau. Bird Macau. Macau are clever birds with bright colors. There are only a few of them left in the wild. Macau lives in rainforests, but the rainforests are disappearing. Soon, they may not have a place to live. And then the next about orang utans. Orang utans have strong arms that are longer and than their legs. They also live in rainforests. They eat the fruits in the trees. When the trees are cut down, they no longer have homes or food. And then, next about threats to animals and plants in the environments. Now, I want you to open your book, page 102. Now, doing the exercise. I have two questions. Write the number of the magic description under each picture. I have the description below, and then I want you to write the number. And then, after that, Tick the description on the pictures showing things that could cause animal to become endangered or extinct. Now, I have the description from number 1 up to number 6. And then the pictures from this picture. The first one, forest, fires, and deforestation. Which pictures? Yes, A. Good job. This and then using animals parts for decoration or medicine. Yes, B here. And then C. What the picture is this about? Yes, but number three first, yeah. Sorry, number three watering plants. Yes, F. Good job. And then planting trees e good job and then how about number five throwing rubbish in the rivers c or d good job d and then the last one about recycling words yes c good and then and then Take the description of the picture showing things that could cause animal to become endangered or extinct. What the picture that can cause the animal endangered and extinct? Good. A. Forest fires or deforestation. And then B. Good job. Using animal parts for decoration or medicine. And then the last about Good, throwing rubbish into river. You can take A, B, and D. Good. Next, look at this diagram. I want you to look at this diagram. Now, now discuss the question in your group. Share your ideas as a class. But I want you to discuss in your own, yeah? Now, with me, discuss with me. Number one, what will happen to the bird if we cut down the trees? Now, keep on your own answer. Disimpan dulu jawabannya. And then, what will happen to the bird when worms and insect disappear? Okay, and then number three, why is a forest important to the bird? Okay, now, all of you have to answer for three questions. Okay, I have the answer from number one. Birds pull nests in trees. They lose a place to live if trees are cut down. 
And then number two, many birds eat worms and insects. They will lose a food source. And then number three, the forest is home to many birds because of the trees and there is plenty of food in the forest. Okay, you can write down this answer in your book, on your in your science book or in your science exercise book. Next, protecting habitat. Now, you can also split your content. Human activities are destroying habitats. Many people around the world are working to protect habitats. Scientists who work to conserve or protect habitats are called conservationists. Like this, this is the conversion conservationists uh, conserve the forest or protect the trees, protect the forest. Good. Next, what could you do to improve your school? Some ideas are more leader beans and then white flower area. Next, bug hotel and then more trees, vegetable garden, composting area, and pond. Oh, the last one about bird feeders. Okay, this is some idea to improve your school or protect the environment. Good. And then the nesting box for birds, the last one. Next, let's discuss. Now, discuss this question with your partner. Discuss with me. From number one, what do you think conservationists do to protect habitat? And then number two, why do they do this thing? Why do they do these things? And then number three, how can you help protect habitats? All of you have this question. And then all of you have the answer for this question. Okay, I have the answer for this question and you can write down in your book. Number one, conservationists work to protect the environment from things like pollution, deforestation, climate change, hunting, poaching, natural disaster, and etc. And number two, to protect the planet and the habitat and animal from being hurt, damaged, or destroyed to conserve its natural resources. And number three, any appropriate examples of things students could do to help protect the environment. Now, this is three answer for the three question before. Now, open your book page 104 about summary activity. Now, prepare your pencil or your pen. Complete the summary sentences. Use the words on the left. Now, in 6.1, about animal life cycles, from number 1. Human, dolphins, cats, and others, blah, 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 give birth to live young. What the animals that give birth to live young? Good job, mammals. And then, number 2. Snakes, lizards, and other reptiles lay eggs that, blah, blah, blah. They give birth to live young. Good job, hatch. And then number three, birds also lay blah blah blah. They care for their eggs until they hatch. They care for their blah 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 until they are old enough to fly. Lay. Good job, eggs. And then they care for their gills. Oh, they are for their. They care for their chicks until they are old enough to fly. Number four, fish lay their eggs in blah blah blah, then they leave them to hatch. Good water. Baby frog is called a? Yes, tadpole. So the tadpole, the name of baby frog. It has gills to breathe underwater and a tail for swimming. 
An adult frog. An adult frog breeds through kills good job and has leg for jumping. If you do not uh, found this word, you can answer this. Yeah, kills. And then number six, a blah blah blah, lay eggs on leaf and caterpillar hatch from an egg. It changes into a pupa. Inside the pupa, the caterpillar turns into a new butterfly. Good, a butterfly. Next, number seven. From unit 6.2, plant life cycle. Number seven, the blah 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 is the male part of the flower that produce pollen. The good job statement. So the male part of the flower that produces pollen is called stamen. And then number eight, the carpel is the blah 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 part of the flower. It reaches pollen from the stamen of another flower. The carpel is the female part. So the part female receive pollen called the carpel. And then number nine, insect like blah 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 help to spread pollen from one flower to another. Insect like bees. Yay, good job. Next. Next to number ten. Oh, already done. Okay, you can write down answer in your book. Animals that are endangered are at risk of dying out because people are destroying their habitats and killing them to sell their body parts for lots of money. Balinus tigers are extinct. There are none of them left in the world. And then the last question, if people keep destroying the rainforest, animals like orangutans that live there may become extinct. Good. Now, open your book, page 105, about practice activity. Okay, next. Circle the letter of the correct answer. I have five questions. Number one, two, and three. The first one, we discuss about this. Number one, animals without backbones are called? Yes, invert the bridge. Now, without. Without means nothing, no, have backbones, invert the bridge. Number two, amphibians go through blah blah blah. This means that they have different body structures at different points in their lives. Good, D, metamorphosis, good. And then, three, the young of a frog that hatch from an egg is called a good job, dead pole. Young frog named dead pole. Good. Next, number four and number five. A caterpillar skin does not stretch as it grows. It sets its skin through blah 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 for a new skin to grow. Yes, cocoon. And then number five, the process of laying eggs in water and also releasing sperm to fertilize them in water is called yes, metamorphosis. Good. Next, now I want you to write if each statement statement is true and write the false or F each statement if the statement is false. T for true, F for false. A. A non-flowering plant produces flowers. A non-flowering plant produces flowers. Good job. False. And then, seed dispersal is a way of reproducing plants. Reproducing plants is the way of seed dispersal. True. Good job. And C. A stamen is a flower female part. Stamen. Flower female part or flower male part. Yes, male. So, the statement is false. Good job. And then, pollination occurs when pollen from the enter of one flower reach the stigma of another flower of the same species. Good job, false. And then the last one, deforestation helps to protect animal habitat. Deforestation helps to protect. Yes, false. 
Good job. Next, now look at this diagram. Ah. Nah. Now look at this level the life cycle diagram. Look at the diagram. I have the diagram of life cycle of bean plant. Just from this word, seed dispersal, fertilization, flowering, growth, and germination. A. The process called? Yes, fertilization. And then B. Seed dispersal. And C. Germination. D. Growth. And the last one is? If the plants have the flower, so the process called flowering. Okay, okay, finish for today. That's all for today. Thanks for your attention and good luck for your quiz for the next meeting. So next week, you have the quiz too. Okay, good luck. Bye-bye.